On this video, you have to listen very carefully. Very carefully. And you've got to connect the dots. Again, I'm minding my own business in my tent. A man comes up, drunk man, and he tells me his life story. First, he tells me he's come to be social, and I tell him I'm not here to be social. He doesn't pay me any attention. Now, he tells me he, his wife is mad at him because he just shot the cat because the cat scratched him. Then later, a few days later, he shows up with his whole family. He tells me what a great guy he is, and I don't believe him. He's got green eyes. One of his family members, the youngest, has light green eyes. Now, you can't connect this dot unless you go to the very first video on this particular channel and go up the list. Now, while he was very nice, he said the GD word about ever sentence and more. He's a drunk. He does tobacco products. He's medicated. He's demonically filled. I'm sober. Nothing. No medicines. Nothing. And I'm on guard. He says that he was just driving by and saw my truck and went to visit. Later, I get the truth that two other devils told him I was down here. They failed on their missions, so they sent him down. So when, after the first visit, he brings his family down, trying to convince me he's a good guy. Tells me that he's going to get a camper and put it on his property and let me live in it. He doesn't want nothing in return. Don't you dare believe it. Because I didn't, and I don't. Now, on the second visit, he not only brings his family, he brings a couple. One of them's a CNA. She drops down without my permission and tries to touch one of my legs. I take my left leg that she's trying to touch without any permission, didn't ask her for any medical advice, and as a matter of fact, I told her, I don't do medical. When I say I don't do medical, that means rehab, nurses, CNA, medicines, anything. And I didn't let her touch me. Yeah, you will hear that. Oh, is this, is, is this the weak leg? Yeah. Nobody has permission to touch me. If you touch me, God will deal with you. I have done showed you that. Now listen carefully to these real live audios. Why would I go and live on somebody's property that has such a temper to shoot a cat because they scratched him? No, I wouldn't. He packs guns. His wife packs a knife. No, that's a bad sign. He shot the cat because it scratched him. says God sent him. Don't you dare believe it. God don't talk to drunks. No, I'm serious. Be ye sober minded. All through the Bible it says that. All through the Bible it says that God talks to certain people. He doesn't talk to everybody all the time. It, it doesn't. It's a lie if they say they do.
It might be your conscience talking to you. It might be a devil talking to you. But God does not talk to alcoholics, drug addicts. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. Listen. Now, most people don't believe in God sending people to be at the right place at the right time. I do. Uh, one day, I was told to be at a place, a certain place, a certain time. I was given a brand new tent. And then, I needed a place to put it. But there was a bunch of wood where I could put the tent. Well, a man and a boy shows up with, guess what, power saw. Listen. Close. Now, this same man, when they pulled up, he said he was just out riding around and he was going to come, he saw my truck, he was going to come by and check, you know, see who it was. I got the truth out of him. Listen. Here's a perfect example of me using my skills. Listen. He said if he got a camper and supplied water and electric to it, would I come stay? He didn't want anything in return. Oh, I'm sure he does. Okay? I haven't met a person yet that didn't want something in return. I told him sure I'd love to because I already know he's not going to do it. He said God told him this and God told him that. Well, God don't talk to drunks. It was a devil telling him. Why would the devil tell him that? Not to disappoint me, to upset me, to get me mad. It won't work. Now, for the CNA that didn't have permission to touch me or diagnose me or anything, first I tell Robert, no medical. I tell Mr. Mosley that I don't go to doctors. Yeah. Well, what? Well, I'm 
Not a coincidence, by the way. Wasn't invited. Drops down in front of me, trying to touch my left leg. I'm sitting in the wheelchair, and people are talking around me, trying to distract me. And I pulled away and put my leg, crossed my leg over my left leg. My right leg. As she squatted down in front of me, trying to make a diagnosis. Devils are everywhere. Listen. check on me and him and his he calls her mama we'll see what I need well I made a, lo a long list of what I need I'm going to give it to them and see if they get anything on it I don't expect all of it if they don't they come back again to check on me and they don't have anything that's on the list I'm going to tell them that's right leave me alone just like my video if you can't help me Leave me alone. God will get you. 
This man knows God will get you. He's done it before. He'll do it again. Light green eyes, and one of his children had light green eyes. Because I'm not medicated. But God doesn't like liars, drunks, and so on and so forth. Well, strangely enough, neither do I. If you're a drunk or on meds, leave me alone. That's a really good advice for you. He says he brings his family so I'll know what he is. He didn't say who. He said what. Uh, here's the thing. I already know what he is. Listen. Understand, people. Devils and demons, they have families too. If you will watch the video so you don't believe in the aliens and antichrists, you will see one in action. And the preacher video. You need to see that. But listen to this guy trying to convince me he's a good person. When someone tries to convince you, convince me he's a good person. When someone tries to convince you they're a good person, they're not a good person. Listen. medicated and on cigs and God knows what else. I'm not. I'm in the real world. Oh, it's an ugly world, but it's real. It's not equilibrium. I'm done with this video. Will there be more? I hope not, but I do what God says, because I'm not medicated, and I can hear his voice. No, I don't hear voices. I'm not crazy. It's an internal thing. You would know if you weren't medicated stupid. Does that offend you? Then you're a bully, because bullies are easily offended. I was once medicated stupid just like you. Read my story, The Making of an Anti-Bully Person. Yep, it's on this channel and others. Out.